What's up guys? In this video, we'll be using ChatGPT to build us out a starter theme for our WordPress website, something that can be used as a base for a custom theme build by a developer. So let's get right into this. As you can see here, I already have WordPress up and running, and right now it's running the 2023 theme. I haven't done anything else. I haven't installed any plugins. I haven't added any content. This is just a right out of the box WordPress setup. Let's jump into ChatGPT and kind of see what it gives us here. Can you provide bare bones code for all required files in a WordPress? And let's see what we get. I would expect at least a style CSS and an index PHP file since that's all you really need for our WordPress theme. But maybe it'll give us more than that. Let's kind of Let's just see what we get here. Okay, so our response is finished and it actually gave us a bunch of files. It didn't just give us a style and an index. It gave us a functions file, it gave us a footer file, header, an index PHP, and a style PHP. It also gave us some notes on these different files on how they might be able to be used. So the index PHP is the main template file that WordPress uses to display a blog's front page. I don't know if I really agree with that response. The index file will display every page if that's the only file that you have, including the home page. The file itself looks okay. It looks like it checks to see if we have any posts and then loops through them and shows the post content. I would like to see this show maybe the title as well, but that's not a terrible starting point. It also loads the header and the footer. Then we have a header file here, which has some basic HTML in it. It does output body class, which I like to see, and the page title. So that's not a terrible starting point. And we have a footer PHP, which is basically empty and just outputs the WP footer function. And then we have a functions file. And the only thing in here is theme support for a title tag. I would like to see a lot more in there, such as theme support for featured images, for example. But I really just asked this for the bare bones, and that's what it gave me. And even right here, we have a note that says the above is just a minimal example and does not include all the required files, although it really does. I mean, you can activate this and it should work. You may also need to include other template files such as single PHP, page PHP, archive PHP, and search PHP. So what I want to do now is just take all of these files and create them in a new theme that I have already created. It's empty right now. So let me go ahead and do that. We have our starter theme file here, and I'm going to make a style.css. I will make our header.php. I will make our footer.php. Functions.php. And our index.php. And I'm just going to copy all the code we have into these different files. Functions. Footer, header, index, and style. Okay, so now that our theme is essentially ready to go, let's go activate it inside of WordPress and see what we have. Make sure it doesn't error on us. Just kind of give it a quick review. So let's jump into the back end of WordPress. And from here, we'll go to appearance and then themes. And we can see 2023 is active. And we have my theme right here, which should be, yep, that's our theme name, just to make sure. So let's activate this. And I don't see any errors here in the back end. So let's go ahead back to the front end and it's loading up for us. It's showing the content from the only blog post that exists in here right now. So this is working perfectly fine. It's exactly what I would expect based on the prompt I gave it. So do I think that this is actually a useful starter theme, something that a developer would actually use? I would say yes and no. 
I wouldn't really want something this basic. And I like a really, really bare bones theme, especially when I was first learning WordPress. When you pop open starter theme that has 30 files and it's including template parts and all of this other code that you might not understand yet, it can be super overwhelming. And what we have here has none of that. So it would be pretty easy for me to open up, let's say a pre-built HTML file and copy and paste that code into the header, the footer, and the index file, figure out where it should go and get something up and running based on that file. But where this is lacking is, there's really a lot missing from functions here. I would want to load, let's say a separate CSS file here, maybe a JavaScript file. I would want theme support for things like a menu and you know featured images. I would also like to see in the header an actual like header section that might load a logo and a navigation. The footer, we could also maybe add some code in here that spits out a navigation. And in the index file itself, I think we should have at least something that outputs the title above the content. And we could also add some basic HTML wrappers in here. Although that could get in the way if you're building out your HTML static first. So what I would say is something like this, I think we could get back into chat GTP and give it a few more prompts and have it modify this stuff and see if we can make it a little bit better. So let's see if we can do that now. I'm gonna scroll back down to the bottom here and I'm gonna say, can you update the functions file to include some some basic useful functions such as featured image support. And I need to spell these things right or it's probably not gonna work. Okay, so it is giving me an example here of a functions file that includes some more basic useful functions. Let's see what we get here. And this is nice, it's actually giving me more than I asked for. It's giving me a logo, which I mentioned, um, support for post thumbnails, support for a menu. So this is actually nice. I think this is gonna work out well. Let's see what we get. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this. First, I actually wanna read this information it gave me because it looks pretty good. In the above example, the first line adds support for featured images, so that you can use the post thumbnail function in your templates. The next line registers a custom navigation menu so you can create a menu in the WordPress admin and display it on your site using the WP nav menu function. This is super useful information, especially, like I said, if you're a WordPress beginner and you just know HTML and CSS, you might not have known that you need to use WP nav menu or the post thumbnail as functions to use these things. The next line adds support for HTML5 markup which is the recommended markup for WordPress. It also includes custom logo support, which allows you to use the custom logo function in your templates. The next line registers a custom widget area, which allows you to add widgets to the sidebar of your site. Finally, the last two lines enqueue the themes, styles, and scripts so that they will be loaded on the front end of your site. This is a basic example and may need to be customized. So let's actually look at this code. And there we got it add theme support post thumbnails. That's what I asked for. All the rest of this is extra and just what it deemed as useful functions. And I would agree. I mean, why would you not want a primary menu, HTML5 support, uh, you know, support for a custom logo. And I, I don't really use widgets too often myself, but this isn't a bad thing to have here. And it also added the other thing I mentioned, which was it's loading up the CSS file from the theme and it's also loading a JavaScript file now. We don't have the JavaScript file, but if we add it in JS slash theme.js folder, it will load now. This looks way better. I'm gonna copy this into our functions file and we're gonna save that and leave it in here. Much better. So now let's go back to our actual WordPress theme and refresh it and see if anything changes. Of course, nothing does. So the next thing I think we should do is have it do the same thing for our index PHP file. See if it can output maybe the title, thumbnail, that type of thing. We don't actually have a thumbnail, I don't believe, on the default post in here. But I'm just gonna ask it to 
make the index.php file more useful. See what happens. Can you update the index.php file, adding some extra useful common functionality? And we're going to fix spelling of common and fix the spelling on functionality and see what we get. Okay, so that finished running. It definitely added a lot to our index.php file. Let's review the information it gave us here. So in the above example, the while have post loop is used to display the latest posts on the front page of the site. I, again, don't really know why it says the front page because this isn't front page specific, but I'll let that slide. Inside the loop, the post function sets up post data so that template tags like the title and the content can be used. It also adds some extra functionality like featured images, post date, post category, post excerpt, and a read more link. The post navigation function is used to display navigation links for next and previous pages of the post. If there are no posts to display, it's going to get a template part called none that will include content none PHP template file, which you can use to display a message telling the visitor that there are no posts to display. We don't actually have this file. So if we want that to work, we would have to create that. Again, please note this is an example and you could use the content instead of the excerpt if you want to display the full post content on your index page. So let's actually take a look at this code and then we'll copy it to our theme. Cool, so it actually added some HTML now too. Before, if you remember, I can take a look at our code. Our index file had no HTML in it. So this had no structure at all. There was no way to target anything with CSS. Now we actually have an article tag with an ID on it, and it's going to output some classes that's like a pre-built WordPress function. We have a header for the article, which outputs the title in an H2 tag. We're also going to output the post thumbnail if the post has a thumbnail. And like I mentioned to us, we'll display the date, the category, and then some more content down here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this into our index.php file save this, and then we will go back to our site and refresh the page and see what we got. And it changed something this time. We now have more information here. We see the title of the post, hello world. We see the category, uncategorized, and we have a read more button that hopefully when I click it, it takes me to that post. So you can see the URL changed up here. The page content didn't change since every page on this site will load the same template index PHP, but it does work. So this is good. This is all much better than the original file that it gave us. So now my thoughts have sort of changed on what this gave me. The original response, I would say, wasn't the most useful thing in the world. But if you keep working on it and ask it to give you some more helpful code within each of these files, you're going to eventually end up with something decent that you could use as a starter theme, something that as a developer you could work with to build out your custom themes on. And I like how basic it's keeping it. I also like that it's explaining everything because again, if you only really know, let's say HTML, CSS, maybe, maybe some JavaScript, you might have no idea what half of these functions even do. And if you were to download a starter theme from somewhere, yeah, it might work and you might be able to work with it, but you wouldn't really be learning all of this as you go. So not only is chat GPT sort of giving you the code here, it's also acting as like your teacher or your like WordPress mentor. It's telling you what all these functions do as it gives them to you, which I think is super useful. And for someone that might be a beginner to WordPress, like I wish I would have had this 15 years ago when I would have started with WordPress, I could have learned it so much faster. So I think that this is a really useful tool for, for this use case. And what I want to do next is see if I can take a pre-built HTML and CSS static website and basically build it out with what I have here as this starter theme. And I'm going to use chat GPT to kind of help me along the way, but I'm going to save that for my next video. So if you want to see that, make sure you go down and subscribe to my channel. And while you're down there, also give this video a thumbs up because that will really help me out with the algorithm. And while you're down there, let me know, do you think this is useful? Is this something that you wish you would have had when you learned WordPress? 
I really think this would have sped me up. I, I think I could have learned things like many, many times faster if I would have had a tool like this to ask questions to, rather than sift through all these different websites that Google's going to give you and trying to figure out what's what, and then looking things up in the codex. It's just kind of like you're spinning in circles there and everything could take much longer than just asking a question and getting an answer. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.